brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the front brakes on this 2003 Mercury Mountaineer. And we show you on the passenger side, but the driver's side is a similar procedure. And the items you'll need for this is new brake pads and rotor kit from 1AAuto.com, a 14, 18, and 19 millimeter socket and ratchet with a piece of pipe for extra leverage, flat blade screwdriver, a hammer, jack and jack stands, a torque wrench, a large C-clamp, brake grease, and a wire brush. Pry off the hubcap by using a flat blade screwdriver and the small slot on the side. Once you get it started, you can just pull out around the edges. And we'll just fast forward as Mike removes those 19 millimeter lug nuts. And if you don't have air powered tools, you want to loosen them while the vehicle's on the ground, raise the vehicle and remove them the rest of the way. Now you can pull the wheel free. You want to just inspect your brakes. Just take your fingernail and go up and down. You are feeling for any grooves. Small grooves are okay, but anything that really gets your fingernail stuck in or anything is a little too much. You want to have you either replace your rotors or turn them down. Same thing on the back side. You can see the inner pad here. It has some pretty good life left on it. Um, and then the outer pad, if you look right here, see between the metal here and the rotor, and there's good life on that. Brakes are actually in really good shape on this, but we're going to take them off and put them back on to show you how, how to do it. Now just open up this clip with a flat blade screwdriver. You just have to pry the tab and pull it open. And then just pry the harness out of this clip and pull it out of these three. Then you want to remove these two 14 millimeter bolts. And we'll just fast forward as Mike does that. Now using a flat blade screwdriver, just pry right here. And that'll push the piston in on the caliper and make it easier to pull the caliper off. Do it again down here. And pull the caliper free. And you want to set it up and out of the way. So we're just going to put it up here. And just to make sure it doesn't fall down, use a wire tie to just secure it up there. Now pry out your brake pads. The best way to tell the life left on your pads, this little slot right here is a wear mark. So you can see it pretty much goes away once you have about a about an eighth of an inch of pads left. So like I said before, these pads have quite a bit of life left on them. And now remove these two 18 millimeter bolts. And you can see he's using a piece of pipe for some extra leverage. And when you pull up the last bolt, the caliper bracket pulls free. Now pull your rotor off. Take your rotor and push it in place. And then replace a lug nut just to hold it there while you reassemble the caliper bracket and caliper. If your new brake pads do not come with any new slides, you'll want to wire brush off the slides. Um, if they do, then you can just pull the old slides off. and then clip the new slides into place. Make sure your uh, caliper bolts slide in and out easily. And you can see the top one does, this one does not. So we pull it out. You want to just pull this boot off, 
and then clean up the slide. Then take some brake grease and just apply it all over the bolt. Slide the boot back on. And then slide it back into your caliper bracket. And you may have to repeat that two or three times until it slides nicely. Each time you put it in and take it out, it'll take some more dirt out. Now using mineral spirits or brake cleaner, just wipe down the rotor. Now take your caliper bracket, line it up, and then just replace those two 18 millimeter bolts and tighten them up. And then torque both of those to 85 foot pounds. All right, just put a little grease on the ear here, here, and some grease here, just to keep the squeaking down. And these tabs really hold it in place. So you could just take your finger, bend them down a little bit, helps get in there a little bit. But then take the pads and kind of go in diagonally. So they go up against those ears. And push in, and the top one in, but the bottom just needs a little more convincing. Okay, the back one, some grease on the tip of the ends, and some grease on the outer face. And let's see, just kind of put it in diagonally. Use my hammer, just to kind of tap it in. Now remove your wire tie and pull your caliper back down. Then take one of your old brake pads and then just use the large C clamp to push in those pistons on the caliper. And then just remove the C-stand and the brake pad when the caliper pistons are pushed all the way in. And then take your caliper and push it back into place over your brake pads. And you want to make sure that those slides push down underneath and line up. And once they're lined up, replace those two 14 millimeter bolts and tighten them up. Then torque both of those to 25 foot-pounds. And then just push this back into those three clips. And then back into this bracket. And then close that final clip. Wipe down any dirt that may have gotten on your rotor while replacing the caliper. And then remove that lug nut, replace your wheel, and then replace all the lug nuts and tighten them preliminarily. Then you'd want to lower the vehicle and tighten them the rest of the way. And then torque each of these in a crossing pattern to 100 foot-pounds. Now replace your hubcap, just line it up and hit it back into place. And 
Whenever you've done any work on your brakes, you want to just pump the brake pedal until it firms up. And then you want to do a stopping test from 5 miles per hour, then 10 miles per hour. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.